All right, guys, I'm working on this Samsung LED TV here, model number reads UA40F5000AM. Now, the problem with this TV is that, that it has no display, so no image shows up, so I'll show you what I mean. Let's go apply some power to this. And we'll just get rid of this. So you notice that these, these backlight that's coming through this, these little holes that are on the back of the TV and but on the front of it there's no image so there's nothing that shows up so I'll show you how to fix this the problem is associated with a uh, chip on this Tcon board here which is right here so we'll go ahead the first process is to reflow the chip with some solder on it and let's see how this goes in the past I've had um, success with success with just um, reflowing this with flux and a heat gun um, but also I've had to replace this chip as well so we'll go ahead and reflow this for now and let's see if we can get an image back alright so the chip that we'll be reflowing is this one right here um, the chip code reads ISL 98602IRA Z. Um, these can be found on AliExpress or eBay but uh, if you're needing to change them but um, for this process here we'll just go ahead and reflow it and let's see if we can get some image back on the screen. So how we'll do that is we'll go ahead and um, apply some flux to this and I've got my uh, temperature here that's set at 320 and we'll go ahead reflow this chip and let's see if we can get an image back. Take your time when you're doing this, don't rush anything, um, and also try not to move the board um, every time that you are trying to um, reflow anything on any board rather. So you should be able to get this um, reflowing. These, um, these IGBTs or these chips that are on this board or uh, most TV boards have um, thermal mass in the solder so the reason they have thermal mass is because they do heat up and if they don't have uh, thermal mass inside the solder they the chips will start to move and so forth so this here will take you a little bit longer than the usual uh, soldering that's required so let's go do that just go apply some flux to it Okay. Now we'll go ahead and heat this for about say two to four minutes. Alright, so we've gone ahead and reheated this chip here. I've also managed to um, go ahead and reheated this one as well. Um, the model number of this TCON board reads RUNTK5351TP. Um, you can also find these on eBay and um, AliExpress if you're needing to order a board or you're uncomfortable with doing this process. Um, so, yep, we've gone ahead and reflown that. So, we'll just go ahead and grab some acetone and we'll just give this. A bit of a clean, get all of that um, extra flux off the board. Okay. Alright, so now we'll go ahead and um, put this back into the TV and let's see if we can get an image back. Alright, guys, so I've gone ahead and plugged the TCON board back into the TV, applied the two retaining screws. Plug the LDVS cable as well as the two ribbon cables and the power cable. So we'll go ahead and apply some power to this TV. We'll flip it over. Alright, so we have a Samsung logo. Now we'll wait for it to cycle back so we can get some form of an image. 
All right, so we have this. Obviously, I have nothing plugged in at this stage, but I will be putting this through a stress test before I hand it back to the customer. All right, yeah, so that's it. So just by replacing that chip there that's on the Tcon board, ISLA98602 IRAAZ chip that's there, just by reflowing that, you can get this TV to have image again. Or if you're uncomfortable by doing that or you don't have the proper equipment, you can order this board off eBay or AliExpress just by typing in that model code there, RUNTK5351TP. You can um, just make sure that this is exactly what it looks like when you're ordering. There is two models of this, so just be careful with that. Alright guys, so thank you for watching and I hope this has helped someone out there.